Alright guys, how's it going? Iron Man here, and today what I have for you is a great utility slash productivity tool for every user of any kind, whether you're advanced, whether you're intermediate, or if you're just new to everything in general. This is good for your Mac, Windows PC, as well as your mobile devices, such as your iPhone and or iPod Touch. What this is is called Dropbox. Well, what is it and how does it benefit me? Uh, Dropbox is a utility for sharing, saving, and backing up files, whether it be on any of your computers or devices. It's also good for file sharing and saving throughout other computers and other devices um, that are even in different countries. So if you have a friend that's in a different city, let's say you're working on a project with him, and you know you want him to get files updated as as you do. So, I mean, it's great for work, whether you have a business, uh, you, you know, a small business, whether you're doing it for school, college, or, you know, you're just, you're just doing it for someone to have fun. Uh, it's easy file sharing. It's quick, easy, convenient, beautiful UI uh, for the iPhone, and there is no UI for the Mac or PC. It's very convenient, very easy to use, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Before I get this started, I want to state that I do have a referral for this website, and not only does it benefit me, but it benefits you. Um, and we'll get to this in a second, but um, what this does is gives us both 250 megabytes for if you sign up under my link. So no, I'm not doing this to be greedy. I'm not saying, hey, sign up under me. You're going to get, uh, I'm going to win something. No, we're both getting the same exact prize. So we'll get into that in a, in a quick second, but the link will be in the sidebar for those of you who are interested in this application. I actually have it for my iPhone and my Mac. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to create a new folder, and we're just going to call this videos video. You saw a little sync, you saw the check mark. What that did was sync it up with my iPhone. So we'll open up Dropbox here on my iPhone and keep in mind this is a two to four second time delay on this uh, simulator here. So we're going to get this going. And it will load and refresh my Dropbox. There it is, video. Now let's say I wanted to add a new folder and we're just going to call it watch. Synced up. Now as a refresh, we'll just go to my quick settings and we'll go to my Dropbox again. And there it is. It's easy file sharing and syncing. There's no such thing as you needing to email yourself a file anymore. Um, I have times where I need to send a file to my computer in the other room. Well, with this, all I have to do with that computer is simply install Dropbox. You'll get a file such as this right here. And it's easy file sharing. So in Watch, if I want to put another file in here, or if I want to, you know, just make another folder and we'll call it vid. And it will sync and in my computer in the other room as well as my iPhone device. They will get that file. So, again, there's no more anything that you need to do. It's the easiest thing I found and a great productivity tool that I just simply absolutely love. Go on to watch on my device here and you will see the new file vid. It takes literally up to one to two seconds for that file to sync up with your other one. Yes, you need to have Wi-Fi. Now, um, what's the price? Well, it's free. The application for the iPhone is actually free. The application for the Mac and PC is also free. Now, what's the catch? Well, you know, there isn't any catch. The only downside to this, and well, I don't even call it a downside, but some may, is that you get two gigabytes of space. As you can see, I have 0.1 out of my 2 gigabytes used. Now, what is this? Is it a month? Is it a week? Is it all time? It's forever. I get 2 gigabytes of my own space forever. Now, what is this used for? Well, I can share files and, uh, you know, um, put them in different places and share them with friends. As you saw right now with my iPhone, I can do that with somebody else in a different country. If I want to share files, everything that I had, they will sync up with it as well. So, what does it do? Once your 2 gigabytes is used, that's it. Well, what if I delete a file? Does that count? No. Once you delete a file, you save space. You get two gigabytes forever. This is where the referral process comes in. You sign up under my referral if you ever plan on using this. Not only do I benefit, but you benefit from it as well. We each receive 250 uh, megabytes for free, absolutely free. It's added on to our two gigabytes that we will be able to use for absolutely forever. Forever in time that we decide to use this until you know we decide that we don't want to use it anymore. What does it do? Well, you get every time you sign up under me, you get a 250 uh, megabytes for free that you can go and share. It's great. It's easy. I mean, if you're going to sign up for this anyway, you might as well sign up under my referral and, you know, get something free out of it. So what does a website look like and why do we have two gigabytes of files? Well, here's my file on my Dropbox website. From the status bar and in the start bar in your windows right down here, you will see launch Dropbox website. We can go ahead and launch this and what this does... <clears throat> Sorry, alarm went off. What this does is it updates on their website as well. 
It's um, you know easy backup, whether you want to save a file. And let's say you delete a file. Well, we can show my deleted files here, and here they are. <clears throat> a copy, and we can actually restore this. So if you accidentally delete a file in your Dropbox that you want somebody to share or you're, you're doing it for a backup purposes, you can easily go, click, within a couple of clicks, you can undelete. So we will undelete here. And there we go. We'll simply go into my Dropbox. <clears throat> and within a few seconds, it's actually restored. So, I mean, you can't get any better than this. It's amazing. It's, it's so intuitive. It's easy to use. It has a great interface. I mean, you can go in here and share the files. I'm actually not sharing with anybody as of right now, but you, um, you can do that. Uh, your recent events, what you restored, what you added, what you deleted, and if you want to uh, get it back. You can also subscribe to your feed. So, I mean, this thing is crazy. This is where the two gigabytes come in because you're actually storing space on their service. So, I mean, you can delete things and you get your two gigabytes back. But again, sign under me and you get this. This is the, what the link will look like. We'll bring up my Safari here. And this is what it'll look like. You can watch their quick video, which I pretty much demonstrated for you. You sign up your account. You have to create an account regardless. I mean, you're going to record a, create an account whether you go into my referral or not. And um, this is where you will get your their service. It's great. It's easy. I share files with my phone, my other computers. It's great and easy to use. Sign up under my referral and you get 250 megabytes for free. So I'm actually benefiting you from this. So I hope you guys take advantage of that. hope you guys use this wisely. I mean, it's a great service. It's a great application. And best of all, it's free. If you do want more space, you can actually buy this. You can upgrade. And here is the accounts. So it will be $10 a month for $50 and $20 for $100. So there's the doorbell. Got to go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good one.